Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the new Chanel Rouge Coco Bloom lipsticks and I have three colors to show you. I'm going to show you swatches in natural light on my arm and also I'm going to show you how these three colors look on my lips. In this video I'm wearing number 126 Season. So let's go ahead and get started. Also, at the end of this video I'm going to show you a new eyeshadow brush that I ordered from Chanel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I love talking about luxury beauty and I would love to have you as part of my beauty community. It would be honor for me to have you here. And thank you so much for watching my video. If you're returning, welcome back dear friends. I appreciate your time so much and I'm really grateful when you choose to watch my videos. Now let's go ahead and get started with the swatches. Okay guys, so these are the three colors that I have. And as you can see here, the top looks almost the same as the Rouge Coco Flash. The only difference between Rouge Coco Flash and Rouge Coco Bloom is that the metal here is silver and the Rouge Coco Flash it's gold. But you can you can kind of see the color here on top of the cap. And today the weather is changing all the time so right now I have some sunshine and I wanted to film immediately because the best swatches are when I do them in natural light. So I'm very close to the window. The window is on my left side and I have a soft box that is on the right. So this side is the soft box, but it's far away. Um, still, I wanted to have one soft box because it helps to balance the sharp light that is coming from the window. So these are the three colors that I have. I'm going to put my hands here so that you can see better the colors. So these lipsticks are very similar to Rouge Coco Flash, but Rouge Coco Flash are not long wearing. And this is a high shine lipstick with intense color that is long wearing. And they definitely are a lot more long wearing than the Rouge Coco Flash. So I'm going to show you the first shade that I have is 112 Opportunity. So this is 112 and I'm going to swatch it. You can see that with one swipe I get a lot of color and the color is quite intense. The next color that I have is 122 and right now the lipstick is facing the window because I wanted you to be able to see how the color looks. I'm very attracted to this color. I think it's going to be very beautiful in the summer months because it's that lovely orangey color. So you can see that with one swipe I get full coverage and high shine finish. And then the last color that I have is 126 Season. And this is this lovely fuchsia color. I think this one is my favorite. So keep in mind that the weather is quite strange today. It's acting quite strange today. I have that weird yellowish light. It is sunny right now, but the sky is not blue. So it's not completely clear. And we have that kind of a yellowish sky. You know this kind of weird weather when there is some sunshine but still the sky is not blue, it's not beautiful blue and the sky is actually yellowish. So this is the weather that we have today. Okay so I changed the angle a little bit so that you can see better the colors and right now my hand is facing the window. So all of the light that is coming right now is from the window and right now the sun is shining. So this is what we have. And you can see all of the colors. I like all three colors. I'm not sure which one is my favorite, but I'm happy. I'm very happy with my purchase and I'm very happy with my choice of colors because all three colors are lovely. So Chanel recently released this lip lacquers and I have a full review of this lip lacquers and I have 12 swatches of this. Unfortunately from the Rouge Coco Bloom I couldn't get the card with um, the colors so that I can swatch them for you but still I want to compare this new lip lacquers to this lipsticks because they are quite similar in terms of the concept behind this lip lacquers are to be long wearing high shine liquid lipstick and I'm going to swatch this one for you so that you can see how it looks. So the different the main difference here is that the lip lacquers they are a lot more long lasting. They are a lot more long wearing. So the color that I just swatched for you is number 64. So here the main difference between the lip lacquers and this new Rouge Coco Bloom lipsticks is that the lip lacquers are a lot more long wearing than this lipsticks. And now again, guys, we have that weird light. Again, it's a little bit cloudy and the sky is yellowish. 
So we have this. I think this is because of pollution. Okay, guys, and last, because the weather today is changing a lot all the time. Right now, the weather is cloudy and my hand is facing the window. So you can, you're seeing natural light and a little bit cloudy weather. Like, it's not too dark outside, but it's quite cloudy. So this is how the colors look. And I have to say that I really like this shade here. So I had some troubles ordering these lipsticks from Chanel's website. Something happened to Chanel's website and it was glitchy. So I had troubles ordering them and I had troubles for three days before I was able to order these lipsticks. And at first I was thinking that I want to order four shades, but something was happening. I could not place my orders. I was going back and forth trying to purchase different shades to see if the website is going to work. And I ended up having Finally, when the website worked, I ended up having three shades of the Rouge Coco Bloom and this eyeshadow brush that I wanted to try for a very long time. And I'm so happy that actually the website was glitchy because finally I got this eyeshadow brush. So this is the eyeshadow brush number 203, but I just wanted to show you how it looks. So I think this brush is going to be very useful, especially for the inner corners of the eyes or just for shaping the eyes. This brush is going to be lovely. I like the bristles, I like the short bristles because they give a lot of control and I'm going to wash it and I'm going to start using it immediately. You're definitely going to see it in some of my next videos because I love Chanel brushes. I've had these lipsticks for the past couple of days and I have to say that I love the formulation of these lipsticks. They are a lot more intense. The colors are a lot more intense and a lot more vibrant than the Rouge Coco Flash. They feel as moisturizing and as hydrating as the Rouge Coco Flash, but in my personal opinion, the Rouge Coco Flash couldn't give me enough color. They are like a little more intense than tinted lip balms and they are not as long lasting. Rouge Coco Bloom are definitely a lot more long lasting, but they transfer, so they are not mask proof. Oh, apparently, this is just a high shine, intense color lipstick that. I absolutely love. It's almost like a liquid lipstick. It's almost like a lip lacquer because it's very shiny and it looks lovely on the lips. So they are not the kind of lipstick that like a matte lipstick. They're not like a matte or like a long wearing lipstick where you just put it on and you forget that you're wearing it. I actually wanted to show you one of the long wearing lipsticks that, um, that just stays put. And if you want, you can kind of shape your lips and cheat a little with this kind of lipsticks. So these are also quite new, like relatively new for Chanel, but these are very long wearing. Like when you apply this lipstick, it's not gonna move and you need um, really, you need a makeup remover to remove this lipstick because it really stays a lot and it has a gloss on the other, on the other side so you can make this really shiny. But if you have sensitive lips, this could be an issue somehow because I have quite sensitive lips and I don't like to use this every single day. I like the formulation of these lipsticks because they are very long wearing. They're almost like a permanent lipstick. Like you put it on and you can eat, you can drink, you can, you can do whatever you want and it's not going to move. And once you start rubbing your lips with makeup remover, it's very hard to remove this lipstick. So it's not the most suitable, I think, for those of you who have sensitive lips like me, or at least I don't like to use it every single day. This, on the other hand, the Rouge Coco Bloom feel lovely on the lips. However, as I said, like, for example, if you are outside not wearing a mask and if there is some wind blowing and your hair might, you know, stick to your lips. So, it's a beautiful, beautiful formulation. It's a beautiful lipstick. However, I just wanted to let you know how it performs. I've tested the lipsticks and it depends very much on your lifestyle. So for example, I'm a person who drinks a lot of water during the day and also I drink a lot of coffee. So constantly I'm drinking a lot of coffee and they don't last 
for a very long time on me. For example, I feel like I need to reapply the lipstick every couple of hours if I want it to look fabulous and beautiful and if I want to have that be this beautiful sheen. But if you're not like me and if you don't drink coffee all the time um, and water, I think that the lipstick is going to stay up to four hours, somewhere up to four hours. So it all depends on you and your lifestyle. I find that as the lipsticks, as the Rouge Coco Bloom lipsticks starts to start to wear off, they become more matte. So at first the lipstick loses its shine, but it still looks beautiful, but it becomes a little bit more matte. So if you want to have that really glossy high shine effect, you will have to reapply the lipstick um, often, quite often, or depending on how much you drink or eat. The lipsticks cannot survive eating or you have to eat really carefully like a lady in a very expensive restaurant and that's how the lipstick is going to stay. But if you just eat at home or if you just eat a cheeseburger or something um, or pasta or anything, like it's not going to stay, it's not going to survive, survive your lunch. But it's not supposed to survive your lunch. It's a very moisturizing, hydrating lipstick. It's a very good thing that it... Um, fills in the fine lines and definitely the lips look more supple, they look a little bit bigger because this is a high shine lipstick and if you have thin lips like me, optically this is going to create the illusion of having a little bit plumper and a little bit bigger lips. Overall I am very happy with this formulation, I would give it 10 out of 10 because I love what it does. Of course this claims to be a long wearing lipstick but still it's a creamy lipstick, it's not gonna it's not gonna stay for all day. So I'm gonna show you how it transfers so that you can see. Yes, it transfers. Um, but of course it's not transfer proof. So I think that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, bye.